In the quiet moments of life, when the battles seem unrelenting and your heart aches for an answer, um, where does your trust lie? Is it in your strength, your plans, or the fleeting securities of this world? Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But today we will declare our trust in the name of the Lord our God, the one who never fails. Psalm 20 holds the answer to your questions, a powerful reminder that in the day of trouble, God hears, God defends, and God delivers. I will pray with you today a heartfelt prayer rooted in this divine promise, asking God to intervene in your life, to grant you His blessings, His breakthroughs, and His miracles. Consider this a special invitation to experience the power of the Almighty in your life like never before. Stay with me until the end of this video and let the words of Psalm 20 stir your spirit and renew your trust in the one who holds your destiny. Watch this video again and again. Let it guide your heart in moments of doubt. And, if you have not already, subscribe to this channel to stay connected to these life-changing prayers. Beloved, this is your moment to witness the greatness of God. Let us call upon His name together and step into the victory He has already prepared for you. Psalm 20 is a beautiful chapter that captures the essence of divine reliance and victory through God's power. It is a psalm of intercession, a heartfelt cry from King David to the God who is ever faithful to his covenant people. This psalm is for you, yes you, when you need divine intervention, when the odds seem stacked against you, and when your heart longs for a breakthrough. The psalm begins with these powerful words in verse 1. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. So, do you feel like you are in the day of trouble? Do you need God's defense to surround you like a fortress? Beloved, God is ready to hear your prayer just as he heard David's. Let us journey through this psalm together, uncover its profound truths, and declare God's blessings over your life. This verse is a confident declaration of God's ability to respond in our most desperate moments. The day of trouble comes to everyone. But, beloved, God does not leave us alone in these times. He is near to the brokenhearted and saves those crushed in spirit. Whatever trouble you face today, trust that God hears you. His ears are inclined to your prayers, and He will come through for you. The psalm continues. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. The name of God carries his power, his presence, and his authority. In Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10, the Bible says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. When you call upon his name, you invoke his strength to defend you from harm. Whatever challenges you are facing, whether physical, emotional, or spiritual, trust that the name of God is your shield. Speak his name over your circumstances. Say, Lord, defend me. Be my fortress and my refuge, and watch God change situations for your sake. In verse 2, the psalm declares, May he send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. Zion represents the dwelling place of God, a symbol of his unshakable kingdom. From this holy place, the Lord extends his strength to you. This is not just physical strength, but emotional and spiritual fortitude, the kind of strength that allows you to stand firm in faith, even in the face of adversity. Whatever you need, provision, healing, wisdom, God's help is available. And not only does he help, but he also strengthens you. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29 reminds us, he gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Are you weary, beloved? Do you feel like you cannot take another step? Let this promise remind you that God's strength is made perfect in your weakness. Let us look into verse 3, which says, May he remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. Here the psalmist reminds us that God sees our sacrifices and offerings. These may not always be physical sacrifices, but acts of obedience, worship, and faith. Every tear you have shed in prayer, every moment you have chosen to trust Him despite the odds, every step you have taken in obedience, God sees it all. 
Think of the widow in Luke chapter 21, verse 1 through 4, who gave two small coins as her offering. Though it was little in the eyes of men, it was great in the eyes of God, because she gave all she had. In the same way, God honors your sacrifices, no matter how small they may seem. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. As the psalm progresses, it states, May He grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. This verse speaks to the deep desires of our hearts. Sometimes we hesitate to share our desires with God, thinking they are too small or too grand. But Psalm 37 verse 4 encourages us, Delight yourself also in the Lord, and He shall give you the desires of your heart. When your heart aligns with God's will, He delights in granting your desires and fulfilling your purpose. Have you been waiting on God for something, a job, a breakthrough, a restored relationship, or healing? Be encouraged. God is faithful. He knows your heart and has a plan for your life, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Beloved, God's plans for you are good. As you commit your ways to Him, He will establish your steps and lead you into the fulfillment of your destiny. Psalm 20, verse 7, victoriously proclaims, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. In ancient times, chariots and horses symbolized human strength and military might. But David reminds us that true victory does not come from human effort. It comes from the Lord. Whatever you are trusting in today, whether your job, your relationships, or your abilities, surrender it to God. Declare that your trust is in Him alone, and He is your strength and your salvation. Finally, in verse 9, the psalm closes with these words, Save, Lord, may the King answer us when we call. This final verse is a plea for God's intervention. It reflects a heart fully reliant on Him, knowing that He is the ultimate King who hears and answers prayers. When you call upon the Lord, remember His words in Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Call to me, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. God is always near, ready to respond to the cries of His children. As you lift your voice in prayer, believe that the King of Kings hears you and is ready to respond. I encourage you, my dear friends, to watch this video over again. Play it until the message sinks deep into your soul and subscribe for more prayers like this. Now to everyone within the sound of my voice, it is time to call upon the Lord with faith and expectation. Let us pray together believing that God will answer and bless us abundantly. In the mighty and victorious name of Jesus, we pray. O Lord, our rock and our redeemer, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude, lifting our voices in thanksgiving for your endless mercy and love. You are the ancient of days, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the alpha and the omega. We stand in awe of your majesty. For you alone are holy, righteous, and worthy of all praise. Father, we thank you for the breath of life, for the gift of salvation, and for the countless blessings you have poured into our lives. Your mercies are new every morning, and your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Even in our unworthiness, you remain steadfast, drawing us closer to your heart. Lord, we bow before you, acknowledging our need for your presence and power. We call upon your name, the name above all names, knowing that you are our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Heavenly Father, we pray for your divine intervention in our lives. Send us help from your sanctuary, O Lord. Strengthen us with your mighty hand and lift us from every pit of despair. Let your presence fill every corner of our hearts and homes, driving out fear, doubt, and anxiety. Father, we surrender our plans and desires to you. Align our hearts with your perfect will and fulfill the purposes you have ordained for us. Guide us in paths of righteousness and grant us the wisdom to walk in obedience to your word. Lord, We pray for your divine protection over our lives. 
shield us from every attack of the enemy, and guard us under the shadow of your wings. Just as you defended Jacob in his times of distress, we ask that you defend us. Be our shield and fortress, O God. Surround us with your heavenly armies, and let no weapon formed against us prosper. Gracious Father, we trust in your promises, knowing that you are faithful to protect and preserve us. When we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, remind us that you are with us. Let us not be consumed by fear, for your rod and staff comfort us. Lord, sometimes we feel weary and burdened. Life's trials have left us feeling drained, but we turn to you, the source of all strength. Strengthen us with power through your Spirit in our inner being. Lift us when we feel like we cannot go on. Infuse us with courage to face each day with faith and resilience. You said in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 that those who wait on you shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. Father, teach us to wait on you. Let your strength replace our weakness and let your power be made perfect in our frailty. Loving Father, we lift your church before you, the body of Christ, united in purpose to glorify your name and proclaim the gospel to all nations. Lord, we ask for your divine protection over the church, guard it against the schemes of the enemy, and strengthen it in times of trial. Let the church remain a beacon of light in a dark world, reflecting your love, truth, and grace. Father, let your word be preached with power and authority in every gathering of believers. Raise up a generation that seeks you wholeheartedly and walks boldly in faith. We ask for revival, Lord. Breathe new life into the church and ignite a passion for holiness and service to you. May the church be a place of healing, restoration, and transformation, where souls are saved and lives are renewed. We pray for the shepherds you have called to lead your flock. Strengthen them in their calling and surround them with your peace and guidance. Anoint their words, Lord, so that they may preach with wisdom and truth, bringing glory to your name and drawing hearts closer to you. Lord, we ask for unity among ministers, that they may work together for the advancement of your kingdom. Let their lives be a testimony of your grace and love, inspiring others to follow you. We pray for their families as well. Bless and protect them, and let their homes be filled with joy and peace. Gracious Father, we bring before you every pregnant woman, carrying the precious gift of life within her. Lord, you are the creator of life, and we thank you for the miracle of these unborn children. Surround each mother-to-be with your love and peace. Give her strength, good health, and comfort throughout her pregnancy. We ask for your protection over these mothers and their babies. Guard them against any complications and let their deliveries be smooth and safe. Lord, we pray for emotional and mental strength for these women. Calm any fears or anxieties they may have and fill their hearts with joy and hope. Lord, we lift up the children of this generation before you. They are a heritage from you, and we thank you for entrusting them to our care. Protect them, Father, from every harm, physical, emotional, and spiritual. Surround them with your angels and shield them from the schemes of the enemy. Guide our children in your truth, Lord. Let them grow in wisdom and stature, and in favor with you and with man. Teach them to walk in your ways and to trust in you wholeheartedly. We pray that they will become leaders of righteousness, standing firm in faith and shining as lights in a dark world. Lord, we cry out for breakthroughs in every area of our lives. You are the God who makes a way where there seems to be no way. Open doors of opportunity that no man can shut. 
break down every barrier and stronghold that stands in the way of our progress. Father, let your favor surround us like a shield. Grant us success in our endeavors and bless the work of our hands. Jehovah Rapha, we call upon you, our healer. You are the great physician, and there is nothing too hard for you. Lord, we ask for physical healing for those who are sick, for emotional healing for those who are brokenhearted, and for spiritual healing for those who feel distant from you. Father, your word says in Psalm 34, verse 18, The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Draw near to us in our pain and restore us to wholeness. Bind up every wound and replace sorrow with joy. Let your healing power flow like a river through every part of our lives. Lord, we also pray that you increase our faith. Teach us to trust in you completely, even when the path ahead is unclear. Help us to remember that you are sovereign and your ways are higher than ours. When we are tempted to rely on our own strength or understanding, remind us of your word in Psalm 20 that says, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Father, let your name be our strong tower where we can run and find safety. Help us to place our confidence not in worldly things, but in you alone. Strengthen our trust that we may remain steadfast in the face of trials. Heavenly Father, we lift our families into your loving hands. Bless our loved ones with good health, joy, and prosperity. Protect them from harm and guide them in your truth. Unite our families in love and peace and let your word be the foundation of our homes. Lord, just as Joshua declared, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We dedicate our households to you. Teach us to walk in love and understanding with one another, and let our homes be places where your name is glorified. Jehovah Jireh, you are our provider. We come to you with our needs, trusting that you will supply all that we require according to your riches in glory. Your word reminds us in Psalm 37, verse 25, I have been young and now am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his descendants begging bread. Lord, we claim this promise over our lives. Bless us with the resources we need to provide for our families and to be a blessing to others. Open the windows of heaven and pour out blessings so abundant that there will not be room enough to receive them. Teach us to be good stewards of the blessings you entrust to us. Lord, we desire to grow deeper in our relationship with you. Help us to seek first your kingdom and righteousness, knowing that all other things will be added to us. Let your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Give us hearts that hunger for your truth and minds that meditate on your promises. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, that we may bear fruit in every good work and grow in the knowledge of you. Lord, draw us closer to you and transform us into the image of Christ. Father, as we bring these prayers before you, we trust that you hear us and will answer according to your perfect will. I lift up every person praying with me today. Bless them abundantly. Meet their needs and exceed their expectations. Let your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard their hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Lord, we give you all the glory and honor. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for listening and answering my prayer. In the mighty, precious, and powerful name of Jesus, I pray, amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I declare these blessings upon you. Type praise Jesus below if this prayer blessed you. Remember to subscribe. To God be all the glory. May his grace and peace be with you.